everyone has an opinion about soy, you either should consume it or you shouldn't. Some say it actually prevents breast cancer. Others say it causes it. So what's the science say about it? Soybeans are basically beans full of protein and fiber. But what makes soy different is something called isoflavones. These are natural plant compounds that can act a little bit like estrogen in your body. But here's the twist. Sometimes they act as estrogen and at other times they block it. So you have the anti-estrogen effect. When they studied populations in Asia where they consume high levels of soy from childhood in several forms such as tempeh, tofu, miso, they found lower risks of breast and prostate cancer. But when they studied the American population, which is more likely to consume soy derivatives and products such as pills and soy compounds such as powders, they didn't find the same effect. It actually disappeared. They looked at the soy supplements. They're not really the same as food. And some studies even found that those who consumed soy supplements, especially in the setting of a family history of breast cancer, actually had a higher risk of estrogen receptor negative breast cancer. So here is my takeaway and what I tell patients. Try to consume soy in natural foods. Don't try to look for soy in pills or compound product form, powder, because it is probably a little trickier to elucidate where that soy is coming from. The soy in the food actually has been shown to help, but the soy in the powders hasn't. I'm Dr. Nazine Jamal. I'm here to make the medicine make sense. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up.